Alright guys, so you can see this is my new gauge panel and I have water temp gauge and a volt gauge, a voltage gauge and I'm going to put this in my Mustang today. I've already got the old panel out. It's good, it's really easy. You make the steering column go all the way down, the lever on the left side and you pull two screws out. You pull the light off for the head, or the knob off for the headlights and it pops right out. It's really easy. So this is kind of how my dad wants me to wire it. And for the moment, uh, I'm going to pull some 18 gauge wire and we'll uh, you get them wired up and I'll show you when they're all done. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to make a ground wire or a jumper that goes from this negative side on this gauge to this negative side on this gauge. So the negative sides will be connected and then I'll just have one negative lead that goes off to the chassis on one of the gauges. Alright, so the first thing I did on this jumper on each end was put a couple drops of solder so it doesn't fray. So now that I had those soldered, I'm going to, uh, I crimped on some terminals. I'm going to put a drop of solder on each terminal and some shrink wrap and we'll have our jumper. You guys can see I got the gauge wires terminated and soldered and shrink wrapped. I ended up pulling out the cluster so that I could uh, work in there a little better. So I'm going to put the cluster back in and I'm going to neaten up the cables and I'm going to put the gauges back, I'm going to put the gauge panel and stuff in place and uh, then we'll have some of the gauges installed. I still need to install the one here and I think I'm going to replace that pod with a gauge pod. So I'm going to have several gauges in this car uh, when I'm all said and done with it. This is the back of the cluster. And you can see it's just really thin material with trace on it. This was not actually a circuit board or anything. And these are all the light bulbs and things. Probably should change them before I put it back in, but uh, it's easy enough to take out. And they look like they're all right, so um, I'll show you the front here in a second. Obviously, this is what the front of a Mustang cluster looks like. Those of you Mustang fans should know that already. But this is my cluster. Well, you guys can see I got my cluster back in. It's super easy to take in and out of this car. There's four bolts. There's one here, 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 and here. Pop those bolts out. Tip it up, so up like this. And then reach your hand behind there and unplug the plug. There's a plug here and a plug behind here. And then the console slides out. You gotta make sure the steering wheel is all the way down. And you can see I got my harness that I kind of made up here. And I'm gonna put my gauges back in uh, shortly. All right, so now that we're wired up and I did test fit, fits great. I installed these brackets that will help hold the new autometer gauge works bezel in for my Mustang. So the bezel is in place, bolted in place. I got a little bit of modifications to do. Um, you can see the gauge here. Um, these studs are actually sticking out and hitting the back so it doesn't sit in quite nicely. That's about where it goes and see it's sticking out a little bit. So I'm going to cut those studs off the back because I'm not using them. And the defrost button here doesn't come back out because it's getting caught on the edge here. So I'm going to take it back out and just file some down so it'll pop back out. And then uh, we should be good. And hopefully once the car comes up the gauges will function. And uh, you know we'll go from there. i got to finish pulling and uh, neatening up my cables down below here and terminating them. And then um, you know those will be ready for when the motor and stuff goes in the car.